guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to do a showcase on this EZA Int LR Vegito. Um, he just got his EZA here on Global. So we're going to check him out and see how good he is um, in this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at his kit here. Um, and then we will jump into the showcase. So he is a Patara 180 lead. So he is the best Patara leader now. So if you actually want to run a, a straight up Patara team, um, he's the guy you're going to want to run. Um, I talked about this with the physical Gogeta. But both of their categories, Fusion and Patara, both fall under uh, the LR Super Saiyan 4's leader skill, which is Fuse Fighter. So um, the only benefit to running a pure Patara or pure Fusion is if you want to run units that aren't on Kamehameha, with their leader skills, they're going to get 180 instead of 170. So I do think there is still value to these leader skills if you want to run um, teams focused just on that category, right? His super attack effect raises attack and defense for one turn. The 18 is raises attack and defense and does mega colossal. And then their passive very similar to, I just did the showcase on physical Gogeta. Their passives are going to be very similar with some tweaks, but in this form, they're, they're very, very similar. So he gets attack and defense 180 at the start of turn, medium chance of performing a crit, medium chance of evading, plus an additional two key per rainbow key sphere, and then uh, performs a fusion when conditions are met. So he's literally the exact same unit. Um, nothing different about their passives there at all. And then we go into the special fusion, uh, same fusion condition, 50% um, or less HP after six turns. Um, now this guy, um, I think most people would argue that he is better than Gogeta. And I think we'll see why when we read the passive here, but I'm really interested in looking at specifically this version of this guy. So, his super attack effect raises attack and defense for one turn and does colossal. And then his 18 key is greatly raises defense and does mega colossal and raises all allies attack by 30% for one turn. So that's really nice to have that ally attack raise in there. Um, and then he will full HP recover, which makes him very good in red zone. Attack and defense plus 200 at the start of turn. Counters normals with tremendous power. Reduces damage received by 30% for three turns from start of turn reduces damage by 15% starting from the fourth turn and plus an additional key plus three per rainbow key sphere obtained. So the Gogeta gets like dodge chance and like crit chance, but this guy gets damage reduction. And I think that's why this guy is considered to be a lot better. Um, the 30% with the amount of defense he has, I do think will matter. Um, even when he goes down to 15, that is pretty low, but it's still something, right? Whereas the Gogeta gets crit, which is actually redundant because he's already super effective against all types. Um, so yeah, the fact that this guy has counters, um, and all that built in is very, very good, right? Um, so yeah, this guy's looking pretty good here on paper. So we'll see how he looks in the showcase setting. Um, and then here we can see full level 10 links rainbowed, ready to go. So let's see how he's looking here. My team build here is a little bit interesting. It's honestly on the 200% leader skill for him. <laughs> um, to get supports is kind of tricky because, um, a lot of the good like supports that are on this category don't support this unit specifically. So I had to bring like this Videl, or sorry, not Videl, but Pandel. And then I'm bringing um, these two Vegitos that are just 30% generic support. So that's what I'm running for supports. Um, I'm going to run these two on rotation just like I did in the Gogeta video. Um, now, this guy has several good linking partners, right? Like you could link the two year threes together. Um, you could link them with like Int Amic Goku, like before transforming in Amic Goku actually links well with both of them as well. Um, but I'm going to link them with this guy. Now on transform, they won't link the craziest. They'll just share a few links, but fully transform. They both will share all seven links. Now, what I like better about the Gogeta setup is that that Gogeta, the physical one with the tech counterpart, it's very easy to get them together because one heals with more HP and one he or one transforms with more HP and one transforms with less. So you can actually transform in the same turn. These two both need to be under a certain HP threshold. So it's a, you can't transform them the same turn. So what my hope is, is this guy transforms when HP is 77% or less starting from the fourth turn. So my goal is, is hopefully like as close to turn four as possible, get this guy out, then ride his scouter for 10 turns to get the other one out. Now to help me with that, I actually brought my own scouter item so that I can take, take attacks right before turn four or right before I'm about to do that to try to get that to happen, right? So we'll see what happens here. Um, I might actually want to set up for, if I use it right now, I think I'm just going to use it right now because the way this works is starting next turn, um, I will get the scouter for three turns. So let's go ahead and just use that. And then I want to try to take some damage here early on if possible. Um, so this first turn here, I am going to put Pandel 
kind of want to put Pandel in slot two to take more hits, but we'll put her in slot one here. Um, we won't let her super or anything here. And then let's see what... Uh, good, we're going to get an 18 key super right away. So this one here, you know, we're actually linking up fairly well with the leader. So you can just link him up with the leader. They share very good uh, links there. Um, but 259k defense turn one. Defensively, he's looking pretty darn solid actually compared. I think he's got way higher defense than that physical Gogeta had. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and just see what we're doing here for an attack stat. Once again, not an optimal setup, but he is linking pretty good here and has support. So this is a pretty decent little setup there. Um, 6.5. So yeah, that's very similar to like what Gogeta was doing, right? Gogeta was like in that 6 mil attack, attack range, which they should be similar, right? The only thing that's different with these guys are their base stats. And I think that's why the defense was looking a little bit better here is Vegito has a little bit more defense. Gogeta has a little bit more attack. Now, I think with Gogeta, you know, pre-transformed on a, on a better setup, I was able to get him over 8 mil. So we'll see if we can get this Vegito over 8 mil as well before transforming. All right, so we have Scouter now. Um, we should have it for... Okay, so Super Attack right away slot 1. Um, and I do want to take some damage here. So the question is, is who's the worst defensively? All right, we're going to put this World Tournament Vegito in slot 1. And we're going to let him get smacked up here. And the goal here is we just need to get below 77%. That's really all we need to do here. And I'm going to try to not grab any orbs to heal. Um, and we'll just kind of take it slow here. Um, we just want to get transformed. So hopefully we'll take... Oh yeah, we're going to take some good damage here. This hopefully will get us below 77%. Okay, 165. We might be in that range. We'll see what the health bar is looking like here. But this is good because the sooner we can get STR Vegito out, the better. Because um, then he'll be transformed to ready to go. We'll get our heal. Um, and then we can ride his scouter for 10 turns. And I have another scouter item I can use if we need it. So we should still have scouter for the next turn. Um, we're not quite to 77. or it's, We're really borderline right now, actually. We might be like right at 77%. It's actually really close. Oh, I was going to say, if we could take some normal damage there, that would be good. Um, all right. So I don't know if we could have transformed because we're only on turn three anyway. So we have to have it set up for next turn. Um, we are going to take a super here. You know, Vegito's got type advantage, but he's way lower defensively. I think I'm going to try STR Vegito there. Um... So I'm going to be like, we're going to kind of see some lower attack stats here because I don't want to um, heal up right here. So let's just get this. We'll see what, what um, Int Vegito looks like on a 12 key here. Uh, but you can see actually linking up pretty well on Transform. We're still getting 5 out of 7. So this to me is a very nice, good, viable rotation we can run. And then STR Vegito, we'll try not to go too crazy here. And then Pandel. We'll let Pandel get a super, why not? But we just won't heal with it. All right. I think if I can... Okay, so there was a dodge there. And then 4.3 from a 12 key. So for a 12 key, that's actually not too bad. Okay, and we got the additional for 4 mil. Okay, I actually don't want to take him out here though. Oh, shoot. We didn't even get a chance to eat the super. I don't think the super would have been crazy. But this turn here, we really need to take damage. Oh. The World Tournament Vegito in slot 1 is kind of tempting. We're going to leave him in slot 3. I think even on a normal, he's going to take some damage. I just got to make sure these year 7s don't go crazy. So we're going to do this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my other Scouter here. Just on the off chance that we can't transform next turn, um, we'll have it coming up so that we can still try to take some damage here. Okay, and then we're just going to do this. Like I said, we're really close. We're like right on the border. But I think like we're going to take, even if we just take a normal shot there, we're going to take some good damage to that Vegito. I, if he gets supered, though, we could get one shot. That's actually kind of scary. 492 is where we're at. Hopefully, we don't just get one shot out of here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, we took 50k. We should be good. Give me the transformation. Yep. All right. This has worked out because we're turn five. So now we're going to transform with this Vegito. We've got Scouter now for 10 turns. Whew. Okay, that, that's feeling pretty good. Now, <laughs> now our goal is, is we have to get below 50%. So we got to do our best to get below 50% by the time this rotation comes up again. We're at full health now, and we should be getting... Um, we're linking up not as good, but we got to transform with this guy to get our links back. Um, actually, after grabbing that, we should still be like 5 out of 7, right? Yeah, that's still good. 5 out of 7. Um, 259k defense. Once again, raising defense on super. His defense is going to be pretty respectable after super. Um, let's go ahead and sure, we'll let STR Vegito go kind of crazy here. 
And then Tech Vegito could definitely take some damage on the end there, provided this Vegeta survives. Because we got type advantage here. So 6.7. So Gogeta definitely like hitting harder in general, pre-transformed. Now, after transformation, even if Vegito's not putting up like 8 mil attack stats like Gogeta was, um, he's got counter damage, which is going to like gives you a lot more potential for more damage in a turn. So Vegito is actually like kind of the better offensive and defensive unit of the two, if you really think about it that way. Um, which, yeah, it, it definitely gives him the edge there. Okay, so taking a super in slot one. I actually, I think type disadvantage with the year seven. We'll put the guest one there, sure. Yeah, I think type disadvantage. That'll do us a decent amount of damage here. Um, I just want to try not to heal. I guess it doesn't matter if I heal right now because... And actually, Pandel could take damage from normals here, potentially. All right. So, I am I mean, we still have to take, though. We've got to take, like, 300 plus K, which this isn't going to do. Or 272. That's not bad. That's not bad. Pandel, if she takes some decent damage from normals, I don't think we're going to get below. 50 is a pretty tough spot to get to because you got to remember on a 200% lead, we have so much more HP, right? It makes it a lot harder to get into those thresholds. All right, let's see what, what our health is looking like here. Yeah, we're not below 50%, so we got to take a little bit more damage. So we definitely won't be transforming on this next turn. Maybe on the turn after, we'll see. If I have to mess up my rotations to do it, we'll do it. We're pretty close, though. Yeah, we got to take, like, 10% more health here. I mean, if Pandel takes, like, really high normals here, but I don't think she will. Yeah, because she's easy aid, and she dodges. Okay, we're getting there. Well, um, no supers here, but I'm thinking that uh, World Tournament Vegito there, even with type advantage, is going to take some licks from normal. So we'll try it. Um, so here's another problem. Key can be an issue. If you don't have the rainbow key orbs around, like they can struggle to get their 18 key, right? So right here, 200, he's been super steady, right? 259k defense. Pretty, pretty straightforward there. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this. I don't know. I think I need to slow down. Oh, no matter what, I'm getting the 18 key super with this guy. So yeah, sure, we'll do that and we'll do that. All right, let's hope that um, AGL Vegito takes some good damage from normals, even with type advantage. I mean, he's under 100k defense. He's got to take damage from normals. We just got to take like, I don't know, like 100k more damage. And we're going to be good. Not even that. I think we took like 50k damage. We got two turns to get there, but we got to get... Oh, we took him out. Out. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, so how do we take damage here? Okay, well, here's the problem now. The problem is, is I just want to take a teeny bit of damage. Um, but if I put Tech uh, Vegito in that slot three, we're going to die. But what I think will actually work out... I'm thinking if we just leave Tech Vegito in slot one, I actually can heal up here a little bit. Because he's going to take damage from normals. Like, probably pretty good damage. Um, and then I'm thinking these year 7s will still be able to defend just fine. Because if I use, like, a Whis or something, we're not going to take anything, right? Okay, and we've got the higher defense one here. I almost do want to get, like, a... Yeah, we want to get a super to get a defense stack in. Because I'm actually a little bit worried with how low his defense is. But he's got type advantage. Okay, so I think from normals here, we're going to take a good amount. This is going to be a very damaging turn. Uh, for us, but we just got to get in that sweet. Oh, only double digits, really? I thought Vegito for sure would take something. I mean, he is easy aid. Hmm. Yeah, that's type disadvantage, right? Am I crazy? Into strong against tech. Wow, that's actually kind of impressive because this guy hits pretty hard. Okay, well, let's hope we take damage from the super then. I kind of wish I went to supered with this guy to get a defense stack. How much are we going to take here? Oh, 8,000 is not enough. Oh, that's so frustrating. But I guarantee if I would have put Tech Vegito there, we would have been dead. All right, so... All right, we just got to hope Pandel can take a bunch of damage just sitting there. Um, so here's what I'm going to do, guys. I know this is going to be... Well, I think we could... Yeah, let's go all out with a big super here. But Vegito, we got to, like... STR Vegito, we got to try not to go crazy here. So let's do this. I think, what's Pandel's defense? 152k. She actually is going to be fine against normals, isn't she? Um, I'm not sure how... Well, I've used up my scouter, so... 
I think our 10, yeah, our 10 turn scouters should still be going. So that we're just not taking any supers this turn. We, we got to take it next turn. I got to get transformed. Got to get this guy going so we can see him. That's the thing, man, with these easy A's, they've got to like lower these restrictions. These guys are still too hard to get out. I mean, in red zone, here's the thing in red zone, like you'll definitely take the damage, but you turn six is still a long time to go. They should have been like turn four and then like 60% or 70%. That's what they should have been like for real. Okay. Okay. Pandel's taking a little bit. Let me see. One, two, three, four. We have to get, we're still not quite there. Okay, a super in slot one. Um, what's our defense? 269K. I think I can do this. Because I think these others are going to, like, I think, I think that these other Vegitos are going to take damage from normals. The question is, is we don't want to take too much. And actually, we could take out the Vegito before then. I don't know. We're just going to play it like this and see what happens. Actually, I shouldn't be healing. What am I doing? I don't know. This is kind of risky. Like, we could just die on normals here. I'm hoping the super will just do, like, a lick of damage to me, like 50k. Please do, like, 50k. Okay, 50k. Okay, actually, now I want to take out the Vegeta because now we actually could die. We got to take him out. Please. Oh, gosh. Because I didn't super with these guys. Because now that AG... Okay. Oh, that was actually pretty clutch. Please crit. Okay. That was actually clutch because I think AGL Vegito was going to get us killed there. We should have it now, right? Yep. Okay. We got it. So we got in Vegito now. So now we can actually see what he's looking like here. All right. And we've got actually, oh yeah, we got a few phases to try him out here. All right. So now we got counters in play. Um, unfortunate we're going to eat a super right away. Wow. Okay. Um, well, he's at 262k defense. So I guess we're going to get to test this defense right away. So let's go ahead and grab that. Um, he will not be countering this. Actually, this is type disadvantage. You know what? I'm going to wheeze here, guys. He's just being a butthead. We're going to wheeze here because that could actually do a like a lethal amount of damage. Okay. And then we are going to go ahead and sure, we'll just do that. And then what I'm going to do is we'll we'll get that year seven back on the other rotation. Yeah, this is kind of unfortunate. Type disadvantage. He just decides to do this. Okay. Double digits with the wheeze. All right. And then 6.6. .6. Now, this was unsupported, so I think he is going to be looking closer to 8 mil. And once again, remember... Oh, that's right. He's got damage reduction, too. Um, for the first three turns, he's got 30% damage reduction. Because I was actually kind of expecting to take damage. And now, look at the counter damage. That was a 2 mil crit. <laughs> a 2 mil crit we did. So, even though this guy has some built-in crit pre-transformed, I do still recommend going very high crit with this guy. Or very high... Um, yeah, very high crit with him. Um, just because you want those crits in the counter phase, you really want crits. So go pretty high crit on this guy. I still think is a good idea. Additionals are good too. Cause he is stacking defense. Um, one turn stack on super. So you might just want to balance them, but crits are not a bad thing to put on him. Whereas the physical Gogeta crits are just useless because he's got, he's got built in crits and he's got super effective against all types. So you want to go all additional on physical Gogeta. You can probably even give him some dodge too. Okay. Um, so what are we going to do here? Super attack coming in the middle slot. I guess let's put Vegito in slot one because I think, well, if I could actually get him a super. I was going to say if I could get him a super, he would actually raise the ally stats on super, but we're not getting it there. All right, let's go ahead and actually, <laughs> let's be cheeky and try to cancel that super out. Actually, let's just finish the phase. <laughs> let's just do that because he's going to die here anyways. Let's just finish the phase. That's fine. We want to get to our boy Int Vegito here. All right, so we're on the final phase here. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to attempt. Here's the thing with both of these Vegitos now, we've just got counters everywhere, right? Uh, defensively, 289k defense. That's not bad because he's going to gain defense on super. I think we do have to Weiss here though. Because um, I'm, well, I'm worried about STR Vegito in slot one type disadvantage. So yeah. Let's do this, but with all these Vegeta attacks, let's just watch these counters go crazy. This is going to be kind of insane here to see all the counter damage. Oh, and we're going to get a Dokkan attack. Okay, that's fine. This Dokkan attack definitely won't take him out, so I'm not worried about it. All right, let's see some counter. We definitely need crits from this guy, though. Yeah, 1.6 mil crits from STR Vegito. Like this rotation, if you could have this turn one, 
Like, that would be insane. Like, these guys are... This is actually a really nasty rotation we got here. All right, let's get the Dokkan attack here. My STR Vegito is also Rainbow Max Lynx, by the way. Um, so he's doing, what, a 6.7 mil attack stat here, okay? Very similar attack stat to what our Infigito did last turn. Now, this should be our first, like, full turn with Infigito um, with support getting a super here. So let's see what kind of damage he does here. All right, this is going to do a lot of damage to Evolution Vegeta here. Oof, that was a lot of damage. All right, 7.1. So yeah, this Vegito is looking really good because 7 mil with the counters is very impressive with the damage reduction as well. Once again, it's kind of a minimal damage reduction, but it's something. Paired with the defense, it does add up. So one mil without a crit. So this is how you know this guy's powerful. Normally, you're not even doing damage to these guys on counters unless you crit. Normally, these are triple digits, all these here. Yeah, it would be nice if we actually crit, though. I mean, I gave this guy a decent amount of crit. Did I not? No crits, really. All those attacks and no crits. Can I have one now? Okay, two mil crit. So, if even one more of those would have crit, he would have just, like, soloed Evolution Blue Vegeta there. He took so much damage. Even the non-crits, he was taking a mil per shot. So, the counters are just super, super impressive. And what we'll do here is we're just going to finish off our boy Vegeta. Because uh, he's trying to be cheeky and super in slot one. But we'll say, no, thank you, sir. <laughs> and you're out of here. So, anyways, guys, there you go. In Vegito, very, very impressive. Very, very good unit. Uh, let me know what you guys think of them. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.